Good morning. My name is Frank Barrett, and I'd like to share with you the best decision I've ever made. It was the decision to ask Jesus to be Lord of my life, and here's how it happened. My parents were always very strong in their faith and held a deep trust in God and His in providence for our family. I was the sixth of eight children and the youngest of five brothers. My father passed away when I was nine years old, shortly after which I became less involved in playing with my siblings and, as a preteen and teenager, spent most of my time with my friends and took on more and more of their values and their interests. The more I did so, the more I felt separated from my family and my faith. I was doing my best to not think about Jesus. As a result, in those years, I found myself feeling more nervous, more fearful, and less satisfied. Meanwhile, my mother continued to be a beautiful witness of faith and trust in God. Even though finances were extremely tight and she was raising eight children by herself, she never felt alone. She continued to go to Mass regularly throughout the week and trusted in God's providence. After, a few years after my father died, my mother started holding prayer meetings at our house. While not participating myself, I was seeing so much joy in those who were. There was a period of time when I would listen to these meetings from out of sight and felt more and more attracted to the authenticity of faith and joy that these people had. I knew that this was what I wanted and started asking myself, why am I living the way that I am? Their witness led me to commit my life to Christ. I made the decision to follow Christ when I was 15 years old and in grade nine. I asked the prayer group to pray with me, and they laid their hands on me, started praying in tongues, and then walked me through a commitment prayer. I immediately felt elated. Lord, I'm finally doing this. Shortly after making my commitment to follow Jesus, however, fear set in, as I knew that I would have to give up so many things from my old lifestyle. I asked the Lord to be specific about what He wanted me to do and how I was supposed to do it. One by one, he led me to tell each of my friends that I was now living for Jesus. As expected, many of my old friends didn't want to hang out with me anymore, and there was a period where I started feeling the cost of following Jesus. After a few months, however, things gradually changed as I started going to a Bible study and making new friends. This is when I first experienced his grace as I placed my trust in him. Grade 10 was very different. I felt at the sense of being fathered and that he was now leading me through a dance. Over these past 45 years, as I've learned to place my trust in him and follow his lead, Jesus keeps introducing me to new challenges and new adventures. In all of life's decisions, big and small, as I turn to the Lord in prayer, he is always imparting his will for me. I haven't always said yes, and, and I haven't always followed his lead, but I've learned that he always cares about both big decisions and small. When I seek him and turn to him in prayer, Jesus always leads me in the next step of the dance. I'm completely convinced that Jesus' plans for us and the graces he wants to give us are bigger than anything we could ever imagine. If you haven't yet responded to the Lord's call for you to give your life to Him and let Him lead the dance of your life, I would invite you to do so today and let the adventure begin. Thank you.